Using U.S. Census data, we are going to be taking a look at the demographic trends in families over the past 20 years. Regarding these demographic trends, if anything can be identified as a constant, it is change. The data reveal tremendous changes in family composition, marriage rates and ages, and what constitutes a household in the United States. These data were presented in the AAFCS AIM series webinar titled Applications of the Body of Knowledge. This presentation concludes with references for the webinar and data cited. What do you think have been the greatest changes in families in the past 10 years? To start a discussion of household composition, let's begin with a pie chart that illustrates the percentage of family households and non-family households. According to the census, a family household is comprised of persons who are related by marriage, birth, or adoption. 66% of U.S. households in 2011 were family households, and 34% were non-family households. Follow the arrow to the right. This shows the composition of family households. 7% have a male-only head, and 19% a female-only head. 74% are comprised of married couples. Among the married couple families, there have been a precipitous decline of the percentage of households with children, dropping from 40% in 1960 to 20% in 2011. Among the non-family households, the percent containing just one person was 13% in 1960. In 2011, 28% of the households were made up of one person living alone. As professionals concerned with families, individuals, and communities, we need to understand these data about households in the U.S. and their implications for our work. Whether we are in product development, promotion, foods, counseling, education, housing, interior design, research, or management. Uh, the median age at marriage has steadily increased across the decades. A generation ago, in 1980, the median age at marriage for men was 24.7, and for women it was 22. In 2010, the median age at marriage for men was 28.2, and for women, 26.1. Half of the adults today live with a spouse. That's 2015. This is down from two-thirds in 1967. Demographics. What about living arrangements of young adults? Recently, the news media has reported increased incidents of young adults who continue to live with their parents who, who have returned to their parents' home due to diminished economic opportunities. This has especially been true for millennials. Compared to 2005, Prior to the recent 2008 economic recession, more young adults, both men and women, were living with their parents. Among men ages 18 to 24, 58%, pardon me, 59% were living with their parents in 2011, compared to 53% in 2005, and similar increases shown among the age group of 25 to 34. Among women ages 18 to 24, 50% were living with their parents in 2011, up from 46% in 2005. Likewise, there's been an increase of women, 25 to 34, living with their parents now compared to six years ago. It is striking that one in five men ages 25 to 34 are living with their parents compared to one in 10 women in the same age group. While the issue of divorce was in the spotlight during the latter years of the 20th century, unmarried couples living together has spotlighted in recent years. Of the 67.8 million U.S. opposite-sex couples who lived together in 2011, 89% were married and 11% were unmarried. Children's living arrangements are of great concern to family consumer sciences professionals. Uh, this demographic has changed just a little bit. In 2015, 73.6 million children were younger than 18 years old. And this is from childstats.gov. 68, 69% lived with two parents. 
92% were their biological or adoptive parents, 27% lived with one parent, 87 with their mother, 4% lived with others, 57% with at least one grandparent, others in foster care or in other arrangements. Caregiving for children is not the only responsibility of families. As longevity has increased, more families face the responsibility of caring for elderly family members. The majority of these caregivers are women. The typical life course is different than in previous generations. U.S. families are diverse and continually changing. Let us now turn to the AAFCS definition of family. Two or more persons who share resources, share responsibility for decisions, share values and goals, and have commitment to one another over time. The family is that climate that one comes home to. It is this network of sharing and commitments that most accurately describes the family unity, regardless of blood, legal ties, adoption, or marriage. And this was written in 1975. What do you think is still true today? What do you think needs to change?